Uh, Ma'am, you need to unmute yourself, please. Ma'am, you are muted. Yeah. We can't. Yeah, yeah. Can you see my screen now? Yes, your screen is visible. Yeah, good. So uh, I'll start. Uh, fine. So uh, basically, uh, in traditional training, what is the problem? Like uh, we have very few patient hands-on in different institutes. Also, there is too much of performance pressure by the students. There's permanent vision loss. And if we use goat's eye, there is uh, also the feel of goat's eye is very different as compared to the human eye. So here we uh, come across the simulator, which is Help Me See simulator is the only simulator which has a tactile uh, feedback. Okay, this is how the simulator looks like. It just looks like a microscope with a desktop attached and it has the eyepiece uh, with which you can adjust your IPD as well as refractive error. These are the two haptics or the hand pieces. They are used as surgical tools while operative on the simulator. This is desktop. Here we have this we have to use for, uh, you know, uh, having particular step. We have to choose from here and even the instruments required for the particular step. So these are the modules in which we teach on the simulator, the SICS surgery. So I'll just go to tunnel construction first. Here you can see right hand side, I'm using the haptics and I'm, you know, the, the way I'm holding the instruments. And uh, here I've uh, chosen Macrescent as uh, my tool in the right hand to have a groove. I'm using Colibri in the left hand and uh, stabilizing the globe. And I'm, I'm going to make a tunnel now. So believe me, you can have the same resistance of cornea and sclera when you're making this tunnel. And you can see the parameters of intraocular pressure. If you're having more pressure, that will turn red. So this is all taken care of in the simulator. Now here I'm going ahead with the, uh, yes. Now this is tunnel is complete. If I have some complication like button holding or lateral laceration of tunnel, the instruments will turn red and I have to re-attempt and go back again and start a new eye at all, immediately. So now here I have chosen paracentesis uh, program and I'm actually doing it with 15 degrees uh, stab blade on in the left hand, right hand colibri. And now I'm injecting viscoelastic inside the eye. And once I'm starting injecting, I can really feel the depth of the AC and of also the intraocular pressure, you know, rising when I'm putting the viscoelastic. It's actually unbelievable, but it is the case. Now I'm going ahead and making the internal opening of tunnel with the keratome as instrument chosen from the desktop. And you can see the ring, lovely ring, round ring, and I'm, I'm extending the inner incision. So it's the way you do in live surgery, same thing you can feel here. Let's see the capture axis now. Here I have uh, chosen instrument as a uh, cystitome. Even we have Utrata on the simulator, you can try with Utrata as well. So I'm going inside, uh, making a C-shaped, reverse C-shaped incision there. And uh, believe me, the feel of the capsule is exactly the same, almost the same, I mean to say. So like this, I have started doing CCC. Now, if I'm getting some complication like this, suppose I'm getting tear now, it's seen on the screen. So immediately the instruments will turn red. And if some more complications are there, definitely you'll be seeing like this on the screen. So you can uh, go back again and start pre-attempt again. So these are the par performance parameters you can see, and you have a scoring system for that. So how many times you have done which mistake, how many mistakes, everything is you know recorded there. So it's easy for you to improvise, right? So now just, uh, I'll go because short of time, I'll just show uh, different steps fast. So this is, um, have a dissection, I'm going inside the capsular margin. You can feel the capsule, see the capsule and the nucleus is out. Now I'm getting the nucleus out uh, with the use of Sinsky. I'm cartwheeling it and getting in the anterior chamber. The same feeling I get what we get in live surgery. So now I'm just holding the lens, feeling the lens and then taking out in the anterior chamber. It's very good and it's fun to do for all of us. So now this is my um, favorite step, nucleus delivery, because uh, Actually, you know, you have the feel of delivery. You get go, to, go inside the vectus and unless and until you give counter pressure and counter force towards six o'clock, the lens will not come out. That is the beauty of the simulator here. And now the lens is out. This is about lens delivery. Same here, we are using now Simco as an instrument from desktop and going ahead with the uh, cortex aspiration. And um, here, if you have any uh, supplement capture aspiration, the simulation will tell you that just stop it and reattempt. Okay, so this is all uh, given there on the desktop. Same like this, we have to go inside with IOL insertion. While going, you have to just stabilize the eye, press the posterior lip. You have to have the same resistance of posterior lip. Go inside, put it under the capture margin. It's beautifully sitting there, and then use Sinsky to dial it, and the surgery is over. And 
the beauty of the simulator is it gives you different, uh, you know, uh, or what, whatever wrong things you are doing immediately is popped on. So again, you are go, going back, re-attempt, and till you get proficient in particular step, you go on attempting, which we cannot do in uh, possible in live surgery. So now, I think till now you must have got the, you know, advantage of simulator. But first and foremost is the trainer also is very relaxed, you know. We don't have to unnecessarily go and uh, take tension and uh, do all the complications which have done by our trainees. We have to do it. It's not like that in simulator. So basically, there's the objective measurement from performance data. You can see where all you're going wrong. At the same time, you can review your own mistakes and, you know, uh, completely go again and again do it. So this is the way we are teaching, and this is a complication management course also now is available uh, in Mumbai Center of Excellence uh, in Pawai, in Help Me See. We have uh, these surgical procedures coming soon, within a few months. We have the pa partners in India, where we have our satellite centers here. These are our partners worldwide. And thank you so much for patiently listening. And first and foremost, I have to actually thank Dr. Sahu sir, Dr. Bodamni sir, and Dr. Namata ma'am to give me the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm in time, right? Okay. Yes, I'm in time.